Sarah was a simple girl looking for an honest way to make a living. But when the only place she could get capital from was a loan shark, her world literally turned upside down. She ended up in dire danger, face to face with an angry stallion that even the bravest of men feared. However, what happened next is truly unbelievable. What began as a great new adventure for young Sarah very soon turned sour without her even trying. She was an orphan who had mainly stayed in the system most of her life, but had always dreamt of opening her own clothing store. She was hoping to one day grow the shop into something bigger, even national. The only problem was she needed capital to start her business. Money proved to be extremely difficult to come by, especially for people in her situation. She had no parents that could give her the money or stand surety for a loan. This meant she had to find capital through other means, and her only alternative was a loan shark. She found out through an old friend that there was a local man that would be willing to loan her the money she needed for her shop, with little interest added. Hesitantly, she made an appointment to meet with him and set out to flatter her way to a decent loan. Little did she know how truly dangerous it was. The loan shark, Bruce, was immediately smitten with Sarah, and he made it very known by asking her out on a date. Sarah, however, was very focused on her dream and wanted to keep it that way, so through a polite decline and smile, she was able to get her loan without the dinner date. Initially, things started off great. She was able to rent the perfect location for her shop and stock it full of merchandise. The only problem was, sales were very slow. Turns out that there was more to owning a shop beside helping customers with their purchases and closing the shutters at the end of the day. It was okay for the first month, but after that, the pressure began to rise. The loan shark wanted his money back and was extremely demanding about it. He kept sending his men to Sarah's shop to intimidate and harass her. So much so, that one day she simply just gave them everything she had in the till. She thought they would finally stop tormenting her, but they simply laughed in her face. That reaction showed her that they were not only after the money, but hungry for power as well. And power was something Sarah didn't have at all. She tried to save her dream, but things kept getting worse. She had failed to do her market research properly, and as a result, her business was failing. She couldn't simply close down and move on because she owed the loan shark money she didn't have. She had an important decision to make, but soon enough, that choice was taken completely out of her hands. One day when she was opening up the shop, she heard a noise behind her. The next thing she knew, her head was throbbing painfully, and she was tied up tightly in the back of a big car. The vehicle was racing down a national road in an area she barely recognized. Sarah began to panic. This was just like in the movies. What was awaiting her at the end of this car drive? The question remained in the air and the uncertainty scared her to her core. They were in the car for what seemed like an eternity. Sarah could hardly keep the contents of her stomach down. It didn't matter what she did in the car. The men wouldn't acknowledge her presence at all. After what seemed like forever, they pulled into a long driveway that led them to a very luxurious-looking ranch. Climbing the very long hill upward, Sarah felt her body tighten. She was about to find out what was going to happen to her. The car stopped suddenly and she was yanked from her seat. Standing just in front of her was the loan shark, smiling like he'd just received the best gift in the whole world. Sarah thought she might sweet talk her way out of that mess again, but then he started speaking. He proclaimed her beauty in front of his goons and then made an announcement that shook the poor girl to her core. His dreams had shown him they were soulmates, Sarah and him, and that they were to be married. If she were to refuse his proposal, she would be killed. Sarah was wedged between a rock and a hard place and struggled to find the words in her throat. Of course, she had no intention of dying, but marrying the loan shark felt like death too. The only thing she could think of was that being alive, no matter what condition, was better than being dead. And so she did the unthinkable. She agreed to marry the loan shark. Her dream of owning a shop now looked more like a nightmare, one she would never wake up from. The men all rejoiced and cheered when Sarah agreed to marry the loan shark, as if none of them had eyes and could see the severe strain she was under when she made the decision. It quickly became apparent that a woman's thoughts or feelings were severely undervalued in their world. Sarah knew it was pointless to question their logic or understanding of what a marriage is supposed to be and kept quiet to save her life. 
If the loan shark saw how unwilling she was to marry him, he didn't show it. In his mind, he was doing her a favor by forgetting about the money she owed him and offering her a lavish life in a golden cage. Sarah didn't feel this way at all, but couldn't tell a soul how she really felt. Over the next few days, she just grew angry, but she hid her emotions behind a fake smile to avoid the wrath of her future groom. Caution, however, didn't let her hide her disdain at his lifestyle. Unfortunately, her comments landed her in a locked room without food or water as a way to teach her a lesson. Now, she could hardly contain her anger. Who was he, she thought. How dare he take away my rights like this? She knew she needed to get some help, but how? On the ranch, there was no cell signal, which meant that to get hold of someone, she would have to phone them on a landline or talk to them physically. This was indeed problematic for a person who needed to get away without attracting too much attention. One day, however, Sarah decided she would simply make a run for it. The hour she got to be outside was monitored by different men every day, but she was able to memorize their habits and predict when, where, and how long she would be unsupervised. This knowledge allowed her to slip out of the grounds one day, only to be caught by some very loyal yet vicious dogs that had been stationed at the gate. That rookie mistake on her behalf didn't go unpunished, but didn't stop her from trying again. One day, after another failed escape attempt, the men decided to scare her using something that everybody on the ranch was afraid of. It was a wild, vicious stallion that hung out in the last paddock of the stables. No one would ever go in there, not unless they wanted to be kicked in the face. Sarah was tossed into the pen with the terrifying horse, a giant that towered over her six foot, 180 centimeters, height and looked at her with distrust. The poor girl anticipated a hard knock from the gigantic animal, when all of a sudden, he bowed his head to her like a friendly pet would. She was astonished by this behavior and yet held out a shaking hand to pet him. It was as though the horse knew the pain she had been going through and wanted to help her out as much as he could. Bowing his head down further, the stallion actually tried to lift Sarah up and onto his back. After a second attempt, he proved successful. Sarah could hardly believe her luck. Once she got comfortable and the horse was ready, the exciting part began. All of a sudden, the beautiful stallion burst out of the stall and headed for the hills. Their actions were so sudden, nobody had a chance to even react. Sarah had never ridden a horse before, but she didn't mind the discomfort, because for the very first time in weeks, she was free again. The horse galloped as hard as it could, straight out into the brush line. That was the very last time anyone in the town saw the beautiful Sarah and the stallion ever again. According to the rumors in the local village, their spirits can be seen trotting together in the wild when they feel like it. What do you think happened to the duo? Do you believe they're still together after their adventure? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe.